Good late morning, everyone. Andy here with the Sniper Scalping Systems Program. We're going to do a brief recap session today where we're going to take a look at uh, sniper signals that occurred in the DAX. It is Thursday, May 2nd, and let's dive right in here. The last couple of recap sessions we've done this week, uh, on Tuesday we did one where we focused on the standard sniper signal and we taught that signal to you. And then yesterday we focused on the pulse extreme line cross signal and we taught that signal to you. So I'm not going to teach you those signals again. If you're watching this video maybe for the very first time, I encourage you to look in the sniper um, scalping recap series archive to Tuesday's video and Wednesday's video and watch those where I actually teach you what causes this dot to appear and what causes this auto-generated uh, auto generated signal calling sniper dot and auto signal calling uh, pulse line cross arrow what causes those to occur so we're not going to do that take the time to do that in this session but you can go back to those two sessions and uh, find that information out so let's dive right in and take a look you know the looking at just before 9 a.m. Eastern time today I did all my live trading in crude oil once again today in crude oil we were four winners one uh, four tick loss and one break even so we only took six trades this morning I was a little bit uh, there were a lot more trades than that available uh, I got a little bit more distracted with my commentary than maybe I should have but nonetheless not going to complain too much that's a two-day total then of ten winners three losses and one break even I think uh, if we t add yesterday's and today's total together so not too shabby uh, when we when we trade live we do a pretty good job analyzing that market right then so rather than look at that we're gonna look at a different market that maybe we didn't spend as much time analyzing and today we're gonna take a look at the DAX the DAX was closed yesterday or was it closed yesterday yeah for May Day May 1st and it went on a tear today really nice so starting just before nine o'clock we can see a standard sniper buy here not huge profits available but there's six or seven eight ticks available and then the pulse extreme line cross signal bam huge win available you can see we hit a bottom we did start to have some nice bottoming formation here, here. again this is very counter trend it's against the action line so the getting long on these signals when they fired is an aggressive trade some traders would wait until the action line starts to slope up over here and they get in the trades over here so that's very valid other traders would be aggressive and take these signals right where they lie two trades two nice winners there and huge profit available if you're a trader that likes to look for larger profit as we continue on you can see we get the standard uh, the pulse extreme line cross signal again in the direction of the action line awesome short there pulse extreme line cross buy here pretty aggressive uh, but we got it starting to, to tip to the upside and we're just after nine o'clock now again another pulse extreme line cross short remember this is triggered by the the black line here in the pulse extreme indicator crossing from the colored area over the white gap to the gray area signal fires the black lines in the gray area crosses over the white back gap to the colored area up close by signal fires line crosses from the colored area over the white gap to the gray area down close bar signal fires gotta love it what's that so far one two three four five six seven eight nine ones in a row standard sniper signal at the bottom here now if you were waiting for action line confirmation you wouldn't have executed that trade that's 10 that's 11 that's 12 wins in a row so far this trade you would have if you were waiting for action line confirmation you still would have gotten it you would have just got it a little bit later up in here okay and then we get into a little bit of a jumbled mess here what I teach sniper owners is you don't want to keep firing back and forth it doesn't happen too often but this kind of thing can happen where you get whipsawed back and forth the worst case scenario here would be you take these two trades you want to wait for a breakout of this entire little range here before you would ever take another trade so absolute worst case scenario would be two losing trades out of this five trade 
a mosh pit here. And again, many sniper owners would not have gone long here or here because they would only be trading in the direction of the action line. Continuing on, winner at the bottom here. Nice, called the low, gorgeous. Pulse extreme line cross, right back in it, boom. Action line sloping up on the second trade, very nice. Standard sniper calls the high, follow through trade, another winner. And uh, then we got the pulse extreme line cross to the buy side. So from 8.50 to 9.10, that hour and 20 minute span, the DAX was on fire. After that, we're going to keep looking at it. And there were more wins than losses, but it cooled off a little bit. But let's look at, count up how many from that, that minute, that hour and 20 minute segment. There was one, two, three, four, five. We'll count these two losses in here. So five and two, three, four, no, five, excuse me, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen winners and two losses this morning. Sixteen wins and two losses from eight fifty to nine ten. Not too shabby of a start to the morning for the DAX. Now let's see how we did uh, through the remainder of the morning. We had a standard sniper here. Uh, like I mentioned, a lot of traders wouldn't have executed this trade because they'd be waiting for action line confirmation. So you could have eliminated that one if you were trading like that. Standard sniper at the high here with the DPTL and some downside divergence. Pretty good looking trade. Nice win. Pulse extreme line cross. Uh, got short one bar late here as far as being able to get a winner. So just there, I think it was four ticks into the profit, but we count that as a loss. Bam, right back up for a PEDC sell. Uh, that's a gorgeous trade. Called the low again with the standard sniper. Nice upside divergence. Ran out of room here on the pulse extreme line cross. The fast pulse signal did go short sooner. Could have had a win there. But with the slow pulse settings, that was a loss. Then uh, in you could count this as two wins, but we'll just count it as one win. We had the standard sniper fire on the top. And the Pulse Extreme black line cross fired on the next bar. Uh, obviously, gorgeous winning trades there. Buy signal here, nice winner. Again, a situation where the standard sniper signal fires. We do not have action line confirmation. Pretty easy to stay off that trade. Um, I'm not going to take the time to talk about another one of our trade setups. is called failure continuation. When you have a standard sniper signal, that doesn't go anywhere right from the beginning and it turns around and the bars go green, boom. It's a nice opportunity to be a buyer instead of a seller. So if you did take the loss, you had the opportunity to get it right back. And if you didn't take the loss, well, the win on failure continuation was available. Called the high here, very nice. Downside divergence available uh, to confirm that trade. Nice, easy winner. Pulse Extreme ran out of room on this one. Pulse Extreme ran out of room on the buy, but got it right back on the sell. So you can feel it. It's a little bit more back and forth. You know, there's we got more wins than losses, but it's a little bit more back and forth. If you are eliminating these trades that are against the action line, however, then you do have quite a few more wins than losses. But from a robotic standpoint, we're a little bit back and forth, aren't we? Okay, so you can see now we're getting into a, a little bit more chop. I didn't see that trade right there. That's a winner. And we just recently broke out. Okay. That trade actually got just enough for a win. Nice breakout to the upside just occurred. Okay. So let's count it up. And you can see uh, definitely a lot more back and forth. I'll also take a look at how many we could have avoided if we didn't trade in, against the action line. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six wins, seven, eight, and two, nine, ten, and three, eleven, and four, twelve, and five, thirteen, and six, fourteen, and seven, fifteen, sixteen, and eight. 17 and 9. 
and that's where we stopped earlier. So since the 15, we had a 16 and 2 start. After that, from a more robotic standpoint, we were 17 more wins but nine losses. Okay, so that's still what? That's still two thirds. That's still over 60, 65 percent winners. 17 and 9. Somebody do the math on that for me. That's over 65 percent winners, I think. Let's see how many of these we could have eliminated if we were only trading with. Uh, action line confirmation. No trade here, so we would have eliminated a loss. This trade, you wouldn't have gone there. You would have gone a bar later. You still would have had the win. Uh, you would have gone later, still win. This trade would have been avoided. That's the second loss that would have been avoided. Just barely have action line confirmation there, so we'll count that one. So two losses so far avoided. There's a third loss avoided. Okay, no action line confirmation. And in fact, that one could have been turned into a winner. If you were waiting for action line confirmation, that would have turned into a win. So three losses avoided, and you can add one to the win total. And now we're into that. So instead of nine losses, you could have dropped that to six, and you actually could have moved the 17 up to eight. So just showing you, you know, little nuances on what's possible. So the total for the day, uh, what do we got here? 33 winners and 11 losses with no, just kind of pretty dumb robotic uh, taking every signal, which is not what we teach you to do, by the way. <laughs> we teach you to create a trading plan that fits who you are as a trader. But nonetheless, not a bad day for the DAX. Honestly, if I were trading the DAX and I were hitting all those trades early, I probably would have been close to wrapping it up uh, before we even got into that period of time where there were more losses. You know, 16 wins on two losses, you're going to be up uh, with some significant again, profits at that point. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the live trade room today. Had a great time with you all. If you're listening to this video and you're not yet part of the Sniper family, we would love to have you come by for a free trial. Sign up. I'm actually going to be doing a internal webinar. So next week be watching for an email if you're not yet a Sniper owner where I'll be doing a, we'll be doing a webinar, in-house webinar, where I'd love to have you guys come and uh, take a closer look at what we're doing and see if you like it enough to want to hang with us for a free trial. All right, guys, have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you back here. Sniper owners, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning for another great Friday. Take care, everyone. See you tomorrow.